I was a youngster when we had the whole Apollo program. Never before had so many people been attuned to one event at one time. I remember that we were flying these big rockets. There was a lot of talk of going to the moon, and, and maybe that's when I started paying attention. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I guess I sort of came, came into my own at the ripe old age of seven. Astronaut Chris Ferguson flew three space shuttle flights during his 13 years at NASA, and over the course of his career, spent more than 40 days in orbit. When I flew my first shuttle flight, I thought, ah, one, and I'll have it out of my system. But there's just something, it's very compelling, it draws you back, and, you know, you always want the next ring. But in 2011, NASA retired the space shuttle, and astronauts were no longer able to fly from the U.S. Commander Chris Ferguson now flying Atlantis. Three and a half minutes until touchdown. Piercing the pre-dawn sky as the space shuttle announces its arrival at the launch site with its signature sound of twin sonic booms having gone subsonic for the last time. But the end of the shuttle program, I didn't, I never saw this coming. NASA turned to private companies to fill the void offering Ferguson a chance to return to what he does best. NASA's job is an exploration agency. Now, NASA, you know, they need logistical support to go do their exploration mission. You see these commercial companies filling it first in the cargo world, you know, to get cargo up to the space station, but now you see it in the people world. This, to me, is the next logical step. So it's great to be sort of a part of the end of the, uh, an old way of doing business and the beginning of a new way of doing business that we hope will be self-sustaining. Hey everybody, um, I'm Chris Ferguson. I don't get down here as much as I'd like to because I spend a lot of time in Houston anymore. Not that Houston isn't a wonderful place, I love to be there, but it sort of keeps me out of the factory. And uh, hey, thank goodness we were all here today. Uh, this is, is a big moment. Ferguson is now working for Boeing on the development of its spacecraft, the Starliner and he's hoping to be among the first astronauts to launch from the U.S. since the space shuttle program ended. We actually have an exercise tonight over at Pad 41. Uh, we're gonna run through a whole end-to-end -end emergency egress scenario out to what they call a collection point where NASA Medical Services will simulate picking up the crew and taking them off to a hospital if we ever had an occasion to do something like that. All set? All right, here we go. I think to fly astronauts off of U.S. soil means a lot for this country. We have all grown a little tired of hearing about American astronauts launching on Soyuz rockets. Ferguson believes that the growing commercial industry will eventually open up space to civilians. And, and there's not just us, right? You've got Orion, you've got, you know, you've got SpaceX, I mean, you've got a lot of people out there sort of vying for this business. And after going through a seven-year desert, you know, within the next couple of years, you're going to see three different vehicles fly humans back and forth, you know, to, uh, to low Earth orbit and, and destinations beyond. We're, we're a lot closer than most people think.